Oh no, the internet's doomed because Log4j is everywhere. In this video, we're going to talk about the Log4j vulnerability that everybody's talking about. We're going to go through a quick demo, and then we're going to go over some recommendations so that you can minimize the impact of the Log4j apocalypse. So if we pull up the actual CVE record here, we have CVE 2021-44228. And with Log4j, it deals with LDAP and these JNDI related endpoints. So it deals with Java. And the big deal here is that it allows attackers to remotely execute code. That means they can do anything they want if your servers are vulnerable. All right, so this is the room that we're gonna use on Try Hack Me. So you definitely want to go through this room and actually complete this so you learn a little bit more. The very first thing that we have to do, we have to scan our victim. And specifically, we're looking at port 8983. That's the port that will be vulnerable. So we'll go ahead and scan it. And we can see that Apache Solar is running on port 8983. So we know that that software is running and we can start to attack it. Next, we need to find our IP address. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start a listener for Netcat in another window here. All right, so with our Netcat listener, we're gonna run this command here. And if we get a response back, then this is gonna be vulnerable. And we did get a connection back, so this should be vulnerable. So we'll go ahead and we'll close that listener. And we're gonna change folders to this location. Now we need to go ahead and run this clean package command here. Now we're going to start an LDAP referral server. That way we can direct some of this traffic to our HTTP server. Now we need to make an exploit.java file. So we'll go ahead and VI into that. And we need to copy this right here for the exploit. And we want to go ahead and press I to insert. And we will paste that in here. Now we do have to actually modify our IP address in here. So we'll have to go do that. Okay. And then we'll press escape and then colon and right quit. Now we need to actually compile it. So we'll go ahead and copy this command here. Paste that in there and hit return. All right, so now we need to start a web server here. Okay, let's go ahead and open up a new tab and we need to start a new Netcat listener. Great, so in a new tab here, we need to go ahead and insert this curl command. And when we execute this, if we get a reverse shell back in our Netcat listener, we've successfully compromised that victim. Go ahead and hit return. Let's go back to our Netcat listener. Connection received, let's do a who am I? And we are solar. So we are in that box, perfect. Now again, that's all I'm gonna go through for this room, but definitely go back in here and look at all the good information that they have in here as far as how to detect it and how to recover and repair it too. Now there's a few resources for recommendations on how to fix this. This is from the CSES, so the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency which is a United States government entity that handles a lot of the cybersecurity for the government, but they will give you recommendations on what you should do. So if we scroll down here, they want you to review the vulnerabilities page. They want you to apply patches immediately, conduct a security review, and consider reporting compromises to them. There's also another page that goes a little bit more into detail for recommendations. If we scroll down here, there's three big ones. So enumerate any external facing devices, make sure that your security operations center is alerting on every time that something happens related to this, and then install a web application firewall. Woo, we finished, we finished quick. Now you know what this vulnerability is, and you've seen a demo of it and recommendations on how to fix it. Now question of the day, what are some other recent vulnerabilities that are similar to this that are very widespread and impact a lot of people? I want you to research that and let me know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to like the video, leave a subscribe for the channel, and I'll see you next time.